we have three big holidays coming up. That means another opportunity that some of you will totally crush and cash on and ride it big time while the rest will be on the sidelines just kind of wondering, scratching their head, like, how the fuck did they pull that off? So let me show you how it's pulled off. We are going for Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's, three big opportunities. You are already sitting on a gold mine. According to the United States Census Bureau, 12% of us, 12% of Americans will move in 2019. A lot of us will be moving in 2019. You're sitting on a gold mine. So let me tell you. Let's say you have a sphere, and these don't need to be like past clients. I mean, if you have them, that's great. But these are just people you know. Somebody who knows your name, who knows you're in real estate. Somebody who likes you, even kind of. <laughs> but someone who may be somewhere between a friend and an acquaintance. So how many do you have? What do you think? Average person has between 200 and 300 people. Now, I'm not talking about those fake Facebook friends. I have like over 5,000, but we're talking like real people. Okay, so let's say, just easy math, you have 200 of them. And if we know, according to the Census Bureau, that 12% will move, that's what? Easy math, I'll just keep it simple. That's 20 moves. 20 people out of this small sphere will move. Now, these 200 know another 200. You following me? So that's 40,000 potential moves. Now, granted, there'll be some overlaps. Some people will know the same people and all that. But out of 40,000, that's what? 4,000 moves, am I right? That's a lot of moves. Now, yes, these are very hypothetical numbers, of course. But you get my point? The people you know know some people who need help. The people you know know some people who are looking for an agent who will need help. So if your goal for next year is, let's just say, I don't know, 30 deals, 30 transactions closed, and that's low, but let's just say that. You're a newer agent, you don't need to close a lot. You're happy with that. 15 of those can come from these two groups. And right now is the best opportunity to connect with them. Right now. Now, what do most agents do? Average agents, they used to do in my office, I remember that. Stack of those cheesy Christmas cards with a giant company logo on them, stuffed with business card, send out hoping my phone will magically ring. And then they're waiting, and they're waiting, and they're waiting, and nothing is happening. And they wonder why. Why? Because they turned something so cool and such a great opportunity totally ruined it with some shitty marketing. So don't be that guy or girl. None of that. Please don't do that. Here's a better way. What is the most effective and most impactful way for you to reach out to somebody? A conversation. Just an easy, nice, pleasant, human-to-human -human conversation. You know what nurtures these relationships more than anything? Connection. Connection. They know who you are. They know who you are. They trust you. They like you. They know you can help people as a good, solid real estate agent because you're, remember, competent, confident, authentic. Connection. So how do I achieve that? Here's a simple plan. As we're headed for the holidays, I want you to take your sphere. Now, here is what sphere is. Your past clients, your current clients, your friends, your relatives, your neighbors, your acquaintances, past coworkers, your wife's friends, your PTA friends, everybody. Here is why that's important. Everybody either is a potential client or they know somebody. Everybody can be a potential client or they know someone. So you simply get your list, do the best you can with what you got. If you have the phone number, pick up the phone and call, hey, it's been so long since we talked. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I dropped the ball. It's been a great year. How was your year? What are your plans for Thanksgiving? What are you cooking? That is awesome. Is there anything I can do to help? Help assistance. That's how you build connection. Is there anything I can do to help? None of this, who do you know who wants to buy or sell a house? Don't do that. Now you turned a pleasant, fun, personal phone call, authentic phone call, into a telemarketing phone call. So don't need to do that. Simple. Can you do five of these conversations every day? Of course you can. It takes, what, 15, 20 minutes at the most. Some will be home, some will not, some will answer, some will not. You wish them happy Thanksgiving, all the best. Keep in touch, 
Let me know how things are. And if there's anything I can do to help, please let me know. As simple as that. So that's phase one. Let's see, let's put it here. You call, just five a day. That's all you gotta do, five a day. But everybody, talk to your neighbors, your friends, everyone, go down the list. Those you don't reach, you send a short, simple text. Wishing them happy Thanksgiving, you're thinking of them, and all that. Step three, you send a card, a nice personal card. They will personally resonate with them. None of that generic, from our family to yours, happiest of holidays, bullshit. Would you send that to your mom? My mom would kick my butt if I did that. Now, my mom is a diva, so it's different. All right, so nice personal card. Now, you can use a service like Send Out Cards. Our ninja resident expert, we have a couple people who are absolute awesome rock stars when it comes to Send Out Cards, right? So do check it out. Gail, one of them, Gail's Intake, is absolutely fantastic. And Chip? Two people to talk to. We are affiliated with Send Out Cards. I love them, use them all the time. We sent two cards yesterday, right? So it's a good, good system. Go to sendoutcards.com slash Borino if you want to sign up. We're affiliated, we get paid huge checks. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But it's a good system. But you can just buy cards. You can go to like Costco or a local stationery store. Get nice cards. Write them out. Huge impact. Now, Send Out Cards will do that for you. It's automated, it's faster, and it's cheaper. But whatever, whatever works, how you're going to get it done is not as important as the fact that you're going to get it done. That's the first part. This is numero uno. You start right now. Start right now, especially if you have a big list, if you have a big sphere, big database, a few hundred people on it, it's going to take some time to go through it. That's step one. The idea number two, what I'm going to give you, well, there are actually a couple of ways you can do this, but one, is a pie giveaway. You're short on time, but you can still pull that off. You will invite your sphere to your office for a cup of coffee, and you're gonna give a Thanksgiving pie away. It's a pie giveaway. So you send a simple email, maybe a note, and you say, hey, just wanted to say thank you. It's been a real pleasure, it's been a good year for us. Would love for you to come and enjoy this Thanksgiving pie. Just let us know which flavor you want. You set up a couple of flavors, we will be available on Monday before Thanksgiving or even the weekend before Thanksgiving on these hours. Please contact us, let us know. The point of that is not to give a pie, which about 20-30% will respond on average. The point is the connection again, nurturing that connection, having a cup of coffee with people you haven't seen, you haven't talked to in a while. Invite them to your office. Some people will really love it, they will enjoy it, you can take pictures together, post it on social media, and now you have a marketing campaign. The third thing I'm going to give you is picture with Santa. Same concept, just another opportunity for you to be belly to belly with people who like you already, who know you already, who you have connection with to nurture that. So you're gonna hire a Santa, you're gonna hire a photographer, they come to your office, it's gonna be one afternoon, and instead of standing in some silly stupid long line in the mall where all the kids are whining and crying and are restless and pay, uh, parents losing their patience and <laughs> yanking their hair out, you're going to have a nice, relaxed atmosphere playing Christmas music in your office. There'll be a Santa. They will take a picture. It's all free. They will get a nice picture with the Santa. You will give them a digital version so they can blast it on Facebook, which gives you an opportunity to update their contact information. You talk to people, drink a little eggnog, have a good time, offer some hot chocolate to the kiddos. And you can have a lovely Saturday afternoon in your office. People will show up. People will appreciate it. And people will remember you for it. Those are my tips, my friends. You do this, you will profit. Thank you.